Chiang Mai has so many pigeons, man. Twenty second in Thailand. I'm on a mission. Yep. I was sitting in my room wondering what should I do today before I go to meet Scott and Allie. Because today, me, Scott, Allie, Phil, we're all gonna just meet up and like say hey, and have a good, you know, have a good conversation. But I decided to just get out and do some walking, see what I can see, maybe grab a bite to eat. I didn't put the directions in my phone, so this could get a bit hairy. But I think the weather's gonna hold up at least long enough for me to get somewhere and then get back without getting poor rain on. I forgot my umbrella. I did find a good landmark. Good old 7-Eleven. This is a quaint little coffee shop. What a busy, this is a busy road. So many hair salons on this place. Little bull and bear cafe. Everything here is a cafe. Little Wall Street humor there. I'm not lying, everything here is a cafe. At least they have nice little sidewalks here you can walk down. I do like ice cream. I don't see quite as much surprising stuff here in Chiang Mai. Chiang Mai is very... Uh, what do I say? To me, Chiang Mai seems a bit more modern in design as far as shops and stores and boutiques and everything. It's like really a Western look to it. Not as not a solid Thai look like uh, like Bangkok or even where I live in Camelot. Well, I mean, that's pure Thai over there, but but back like the ice cream place or the hair salon. And after the brief little walk, I have ended up at my destination. I haven't had McDonald's in many, many months. Right, Ronald? Getting the number 10 Big Mac combo. I don't know what the monks are getting. I have no clue. Mm. Look at that. Mm. This is a cool McDonald's corner, you have to admit. This place is huge. All right, but time to head back now. Google says it's gonna take me 18 minutes to get back to my hotel. Let's just see. It's a bit warm today. So what do you got? That's a neat little place to stay. So did Google get the timing down from McDonald's back to the back to the hotel? To the minute. Exactly 18 minutes. I'm impressed. Twisted is Thailand, Thailand Rob. And the most wonderful, beautiful traveling expert I knew. Psycho Trapper, nickname Ali. Ali, not nickname, Psycho Trapper, nickname. <laughs> so she's been in Chiang Mai for three months, and so the, before her and Scott leave to go to the, the, the Phil, no, not Philippines, Vietnam, and then from Vietnam to Cambodia, Cambodia, they travel. So all of you that have been telling me to go to travel those places, just she's gonna do it. You know, we were sitting here last night, <clears throat> we were having a couple of beers, and still are, but we were talking about YouTube, the ups and downs of it, how we've had so much fun, and how we got started, and how you started, what, three years ago? Four. Four? Yeah. How many subscribers did you get the first year? A thousand. A th Ooh. <laughs> well, it was yeah, because it was always a hobby. I would go a couple few months without uploading. Oh, it yeah, was yeah, never yeah, like yeah, I put yeah. that much effort in. It was like once a week, but then if I missed a month or so, I didn't care. Because, you know, I just did it for fun. Whenever I had an idea for a video, I just did it. So when did you... What was the year you decided to make traveling your profession? That Her was... job <laughs> to travel, just... <laughs> it's not bad. It's no, not bad. Not a bad gig, no. 
Um, probably about a year and a half ago, the start of 2015. So you've been on YouTube a couple of years and then you just decided to go full blown. Yeah. Okay. There's a a deep story behind it, but I'm not going to go into it. You got a, we have a violin, anyone? No. no. <laughs> so basically, I found like the opportunity. I was like, now is the right time. I just literally threw myself into it. I was like, it's now or never. It was literally, I do that or I go home or I do this and nothing yeah. else. Like, it was a crossroad. And Ooh, I decided good to analogy, just, crossroad. It was. Because I was, when I, before taking full time, I was earning 70 bucks a month on YouTube. What was your first payout? Do you remember the number? No. Mine was two cents. Two pennies. Of course, it wasn't a payout. It was just, this is what you earned on your AdSense was two cents. <laughs> and I'm like, that's it. I'm quitting my job. Let's, this is what we're doing. Have you gone into AdSense and downloaded your report for your lifetime? I've seen the option. I've never printed it You off. should do it. It's just really interesting to go back and be like, whoa. I don't have a printer. I'm going to make a you whole... You don't have to print it. You can view it. You download it. I'm gonna do my. I'll, I'm gonna do my video on how I'm a minimalist. I'm a minimalist. Did you know that? Yeah. I didn't know that. I was <laughs> last night. That when you don't have anything, you're a minimalist. I thought I was wow. poor. Because <laughs> <laughs> I love collabing. Oh, I love collabing. I mean, I don't get to do it very often though. We actually. Well, okay, she gave me a shout out. I was a small channel. I think when you gave me a shout out, it was three thousand. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. But her and Scott, had, they were coming to Thailand, so they started watching Thailand videos, as you do. And Scott, I guess, told you, he's like, look at this crazy guy over in Bangkok. Yeah. So she already had an established channel, which was unbeknownst to me, because I just didn't know the Psycho Traveler channel. And so when she gave me the shout out, I got this huge bump in subscribers one night, and I was telling her last night, I was telling you last night, that I was sitting at home, I was sitting on the floor in my room in Bangkok, and I was watching my numbers, and I would edit some more and watch my numbers and they were going up by like 50 at a time, which doesn't happen for Thailand Rob. And I was just like, something's weird. I walked downstairs and I was telling Fawn, I'm like, something really weird's going on. And then a couple days later, she's like, oh, I give you a small little shout out the other day. And then I look at her channel and I think back then you had 52,000 yeah. subscribers or something. 52,000 subscribers. <laughs> my predictions say that I'll hit that in 2020. <laughs> <laughs> 2020 so we have a new campaign 2020 there'll be another president running in america back then who knows what's going to be happening i don't know if it's... america's going to be here by then well yeah the, the hillary the hillary and trump what if they went to never mind no no, Not during... no. which one's vice which one's the president Ooh, what if they could bilaterally be president <gasps> <laughs> That's the worst thing I've ever created in my mind. Try to unsee that. One of the things that really, really inspired me, because I just, you said that you started really hard a year and a half ago. Yeah. She doesn't play. I mean, she is, okay, and I'm going to blame this on my age, but also I'm kind of lethargic with some technology. You are a bit younger, half my age. I think you're half my age. You are not 50. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> so she does She does everything. She's got the Instagram, the Snapchat, the Twitter, which... My, the Twitter? The, the, the Twitter. <laughs> but you're on top of it. And you have, you already, you've got your website. You've got your, she's done merchandise. She's got goals. And, and she's really, really just like digging at it and stuff. So she inspires me to do more because I want to do more, I just sometimes don't know how to because I use the old man technology. I'm like, oh, honey, you make a website. <laughs> Actually, no, I have to take that out. I, <laughs> I, just told, I just told her what I was going to do, my next big thing that I'm going to do. <laughs> I'll let you guys know. I know this is a teaser and I hate doing teasers. Are you going to charge money for that? Oh, I should. <laughs> My bag. Yeah. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> sorry about the nudity. <laughs> but I was asking her, with two people, could you live off a thousand US dollars a month? And she's like, uh, no. <laughs> no. I mean, like I said, like if you want to be stingy. You could, 
like so stingy to the point of yes. ridiculous. Like Thai style. Yeah, you don't get you don't even get tuk-tuk. You don't even get sung out anywhere. Like you're saying no. every bar. And to me, and we were just saying, like, you must go home. With no air con, no hot water, and definitely not going out clubbing or no. 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 I mean, there's I believe in living below your means. Um, I'm good at that. <laughs> you have no choice, Rob. I, I have no means. <laughs> um, but it's better. Once you're forced to live below your means, you, we've talked about this, like having money, you think back on when you did have money, it's like, this has been forced on me slightly, but yeah. this is way better. Um, oh, yeah. But even in Bangkok, and up here in Chiang Mai, the prices are... Well, Chiang Mai is, or Chiang Mai is completely different. The prices, the prices are good. It is, and I've mentioned this, I'm sorry I'm mentioning it again, it is so almost westernized to the point where it's like rare to see Thai style. It really is. Yeah. You walk down the road, there's, there are the open restaurants here, Thai restaurants, but nothing like what I've seen in Bangkok and uh, Camelot and Phuket, and especially up north, um, Isan. So when I'm here, I can, I can see now why it's the number one um, nomad, digital nomad yeah. area, because yeah. you can go like I had the breakfast, the, uh, like I showed you in the video where I was eating the omelet and it was just a nice little Western breakfast and, and I was like, ooh, I could get used to this, mm -hmm. you know, 135 baht, it's not cheap, but it's not expensive either. Because it's easy in Chiang Mai. Chiang Mai is so easy. The rent is low, the food is low, the markets are cheap. Like all prices are low. Internet is pretty good in general, like cafes and stuff. They're pretty, really fast internet here for the digital nomads. Internet's always free. I know it's just everything makes it the perfect digital nomad base. And you have the comfort that pretty much everyone speaks at some level of English. Oh my God, almost everybody here speaks almost English. I mean, it's so easy to communicate here that I'll be completely honest. I almost feel like I'm robbing myself of Thailand <laughs> by being here. Really? Because when I lived back in uh, Kamala or even in Bangkok, there was, it, when I lived in Bangkok, I lived so far off the grid that there wasn't even uh, street vendors. I mean, it was just Thai people and they looked at me like I was in the wrong place. They're like, you got lost. But, and then I went to Kamala and it's still the, the broken English and all. And I like that because I have to learn Thai and the Thais like to learn English and it's still like we're mixing it up and we're learning from each other. And here it's just kind of like, welcome to McDonald's. <laughs> you know? I miss it. I miss... The old school. Yeah. I miss the old Because I love it. That's why I travel. To yes. go see the culture, meet the people, not have a clue what they're saying, but you just smile and they smile back. You're like, we're going to get on just fine. You know what I yeah, mean? <laughs> I agree with that. I, I completely um, agree with that. But it's obviously, I don't know, we've picked this place because I know it was easy. We love Chiang Mai. It's easy to see why people like Chiang Mai. Um, and Thai people like Chiang Mai. They, mm -hmm. they do because it is, it's a beautiful, nice area and it's calmer. Yeah. Even though it's busy, but it's calm. It's not like a bank. It's not like a bank. No. Kind of busy at all. I mean, it's a city, but it's not a city. <laughs> no. Then you got the was it the old old, old town. the old, old town city. old city. Yeah. And that's just nice to walk around and look at with, with yeah. the water and just the, like I said, the pigeons here. I don't know what's up with the pigeons. Oh my here. god, so <laughs> many. It's like uh, Alfred Hitchcock, the birds, but yeah. they put pigeons instead. So the past couple of nights, Scott, Allie, and I, we went out and had a couple of beers. And she's like, I'm taking it easy today. So yeah, we're going out for beers tonight. Uh -huh. No, she's not going to. But, and the way I always end my videos is real. I'm trying to do better about saying, hey, if this was fun, thumbs up. And if you want to see more, subscribe so you see the next ones. But this is how Allie does her ending. But say it normal and then say it slow. Listen. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, all that psycho traveling stuff down there. And I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> That's her ending. Now, if you record that and play it black dip, play it back at half speed, this is what it said. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, all that psycho traveler links are down there. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. 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 I really have got a slow day. Can I just get a thumbs up? Can I get a thumbs up? Can I get two Oh yeah, yeah. The link to her description, which is the most My link to my description. The link <laughs> in the description there's going to be a link <laughs> if you click on it you will be able to watch a professional youtube channel there you go oh god you've put people's expectations way too high <laughs> can you take this asshole back to america please i hope so
Goody goody. Don't Go forget that. Goody goody. La if life is good, it's good. If life is better and good, it's goody goody. 